we're going to create a drawing in Kinta. So we need to actually practice using coordinates, etc., for Kinta. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to do this. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to set up the Kinta package within Python. So we go from TK enter import all. Okay. Having imported all, we actually create a root directory and we've got that like that. Now that's going to be a TK thing. We could have called this root anything we like, but it's smart to use a systematic approach. So we're going to call, and in most of my videos, I'm going to call this root. Um, sometimes I will call it main window or something like that, but I, I want you to get in practice to call it root. Um, just because we can and it's it's really logical as a name. We want to actually set up the size of the root directory. So the root is going to be uh, to set that up, we're going to use the geometry geometry um, component, and it's going to have to have an inverted commas, and we're going to set it up so it's 800 wide, x, yes, that is a lowercase x, 600. And so this actually sets the root directory geometry to be 800 wide, that's how wide it is over there, and then 600 down. Uh, and then the finally, final thing that we normally do is do a root dot main loop and you'll see as it comes up we can click on it and it's got it's a little program so we've got to actually make the inverted commas there. So we need to create a little space here and all our programming is going to go in between the main loop and um, the word geometry. We're going to create a canvas now. And uh, as this is a drawing, we're going to call it drawing. So drawing is equal to canvas, that's capital C, and then all lowercase. And we're going to put this into the root directory, what we have called the root directory. If it was named something else, we would call it something else. So if I called it main directory, it would be called main directory. If I called it main window, it would be called main window and we'd need to put it in the main window. But we've called it root and so we're calling it and putting it in the root directory. We're going to set the width of that to be the same size as um, the root directory because we want to fill it. So we're going to say width is equal to 800 and the height Spell height, H-E-I-G-H-T, is equal to 600, and that will fill it to the same size. One other thing that we can do is we can put a background color, and we want this, in this case, to be white. And the final thing that we need to do, once we've created that particular event called drawing, we need to put that drawing into the root directory, and the way we do that is we say drawing.pack, and we run that little program called pack. And if we run that, press start, up it comes. And so this is white, and this is a full 800 by 600 down. That's the first part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a wave. Now, I'm going to take a picture from the internet and um, that picture will be, let's, I'm going to take a picture of a sailing boat. And so I'm just looking for sailing boat pictures. So sailing boat. And I'm looking at images. And what if we said drawing images, something like that. And so we can see some images here, and I'm going to take this particular image here. Um, maybe, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe this one. That looks pretty cool. And I'm going to try and draw that. So I need to understand in drawing that, that when I refer to the Kinta um, grid system, this place up here is zero, zero. And this one is 800 because we've made it 800 across. And then this right down here would be 600 down. Of course, this one isn't like this. This is probably 800 by 800. But um, 
So then to plot a point from here to here, to plot a line from there to there, what I need to do is I need to actually create maybe a couple of lines in here, maybe a line going here, and then smooth it out. So I'm going to create a, a point that goes from here to maybe here, and then a point that goes from here to here, and then create that smooth thing. So this would be approximately maybe uh, 200 across, and if we were dividing this by 600, this would be roughly at the 450 mark, maybe 500 mark, 450. So, so I would say 200 by 450, and then I would find where this point was, and say this point was roughly halfway uh, out of um, out of the 800. So that might be 400, and down would be roughly the same kind of figure as that. So that was 450, so that might be slightly up, so 420. And this one would be maybe uh, 500 across, 600 across, somewhere in there, and then um, 470 or 480 in, in the coordinates. So I need to actually know that that's how it works. So, to create a line, of course, I'm going to create uh, the line called um, bow. Uh, no, line. We can call it whatever we like. So let's call it um, boat. Um, we'll call it boat underscore um, midline, mid. And that is equal to drawing dot create line. And then I can put those lines in there. So if I said it was uh, starting at 200 and it went to maybe uh, 450 down, and then the line was maybe 350 across and maybe uh, 420 up, so slightly up, and then um, maybe it's um, 600 across and it might be uh, down, it might be 440. Okay, so then if I run that, we can see here's the first line, the first coordinate, here's the second, and here's the third. And we can compare that to the drawing and ask ourselves, is that drawing line accurate? It may or may not be, and then we just need to adjust the different things. So I think that this needs to go maybe over here. So to make that go over there, it's that second thing there. And so I probably need to make that maybe 500. And so let's run that. And it's more over there. So it's, it's probably gone too far that way. So instead of being 500, we could say 460 and run that. And that's probably more the distance it is. Now, we want that smooth, right? We want to make that nice and smooth. Um, so the other thing is we want to make it thicker. So if we said width equals uh, 5, let's see what happens when we do that. So that makes it like that. And then we want to smooth it out. I'm actually going to make that four. It's a little bit too thick. And then we're going to smooth it. And smooth is equal to one. That means smooth is on. One is on, zero is off. So let's run that. And we can kind of see we've got that kind of curve going of that picture there. It's kind of like that. The next line would be slightly thicker and it's slightly above and slightly further past it, isn't it? So it's it's got similar kinds of um, geometry, it's just slightly up. So what I can do is I can actually, uh, I've called it Bayot. How do you like that? That's pretty cool. So I'm going to call this Boat. 
So I've just changed it there. Sorry about that line. Okay, so this has the same lines. I'm going to change the width to equal maybe five this time. And um, we want to make it go up. So we'll keep the similar kinds of starting position there. And that will be a similar kind of starting position. This one's going further, isn't it? So maybe 650. But now these ones are referring to the height of it. And they need to be slightly higher, which is less then. So if I said that that was 30, so we've gone up 20. And I said that that was um, 400 because we're going up 20. And that was... Uh, 420 we will see a slight difference there so let's see that second line come in now and so here's our second line and let's have a look at that picture of that boat so it's kind of in the thing but it's gone a little bit past it it's kind of looking okay all right so this is how we can actually draw lines and start doing this now we'll just quickly show you circles and um, uh, squares etc um, so this is just a test one it's not part of the boat test is equal to drawing again we've got to put it in drawing uh, dot create and this time we're going to create a uh, an oval um, and this will be a circle and so basically what we do is we create we we put the space we put four coordinates or or two sets of coordinates. Um, the furthest left it's going to go. So if we said that that was 200 was the furthest left it was going to go. And we're going to put this well above this particular part. So we're going to say maybe 200. So that's where the, um, the furthest, um, that's going to be the highest point of it. Or maybe we'll make that the highest point will be 100. Then we'll go, uh, say, um, 300, and then the next one will be 200. So this 300 is 100 past this, and so that will confine the um, circle to being only 100 wide. And this is going 100 down, so that will confine it to being 100 less. So this will be a nice, perfect circle. Let's run that. And so we've got our perfect circle where the first coordinate defined how far it was to the left. The second one defined how low, low it had come from the top. The third one, which was 300, is defining how far it is to the right. And the fourth one is how far down. Um, so it doesn't have to be like that. We could swap the coordinates around mess with them but you do need to think of it in terms of this pair and that pair okay and that the circle will fit within there it doesn't have to be a circle at that point it can be an oval just by changing the figures here so if I said zero um, that would actually change it quite dramatically and it would be quite an oval kind of shape and as you can see it's now at zero and it's coming down there the uh, last thing I want to teach you is uh, the polygon. And so this is test uh, two, and that will equal drawing, of course, dot create. This time it's polygon, and you can see it comes up here, so I can click on that. Um, and this is basically any shape that is uh, a triangle or more. So it could be a triangle, could be a square, could be a, a five-sided uh, thing, an eight-sided thing. Um, so we just need to set up our coordinates for each one. And again, you're doing the same thing. So if I said 200, uh, comma, 0, comma, 300, I'm going to use those same coordinates um, as that. But now I'm going to so the first one is the first point of the polygon. It creates a line between that and that. Then we're going to create another line. So we're going to go straight down to 400. So that's actually going to go straight down. And then we're going to go maybe 250 um, by um, 300. So it's going to have its own little shape there. And so this will be a 1, 
two, three, four sided um, object. So a little bit like a square, but it's not going to be a square at all. But it, you've got to do it in terms of two, um, twos, where the first one of those two is the X, the second one is the Y. And this is the X and this is the Y. Okay, so this will form a polygon, a four-sided polygon. If I wanted a five-sided polygon, I would put another set of coordinates. The important part is that you must have two every time for the coordinates to work. Otherwise, if I put a, a, an, an uneven number, it will actually give me an error. So let's run that. And you'll notice that this polygon is actually black in color, so I can change the fill color of that to red or whatever I like. But there are the different points of which it is taking it from. I hope this was uh, helpful to you, and um, see you in the next lot.